Oh, there you are. Cheers, people. I'm here to talk to you about side pads. And uh, come closer. Come on. This is dirt cheap side pads. And uh, they're better than the expensive ones. Here's one of the expensive ones. And it's absolutely bloody useless. And it's going to cost you a bundle. And uh, it's useless, right? But if you can get your hands on a yoga block, right? You can shape the yoga block into more or less what you want. Like this, okay? Because it's made of EVA foam. So a yoga block, it's just another way of saying that dead cheap and very practical material because it's associated with being a spiritual guy and it's referred to as yoga. Then you don't need to think logical at all. But this is also EVA foam and you can shape it with a heating gun which is very good and my friends uh, my queer friends who are into cosplay and what have you not in order to learn anything about using a sewing machine they use a heating gun and glue in order to shape EVA foam into exactly what they want and we can do the same now back to the topic here's a yoga block that I chopped out using a Stanley knife if you're from Texas, you probably use a machine gun, a couple of cannons, and a chainsaw. But normally, uh, a Stanley knife or a Brett knife can do the trick. Uh, you need to work a little on it uh, later on. But uh, let me just show you this. It's a yoga block. It costs next to nothing. And it's so-called EVA foam. Now. This is also EVA foam, but um, it's used for uh, if you have a concrete um, floor and it's not good for your feet, you know, foot fatigue, right? You use this. But if you're trying to shape it, what I did using glue and a heat gun, the fumes are not so nice. So bollocks that. Um, so here's what I'm sitting on apart from my balls. Um, it's also EVA foam, and now the wonderful message for you, my friend, is this shape produced of faux leather, which is plastic, in Russia, can cost you $150 and you're going to wait forever, and if you produce it yourself, it's going to take you 10 minutes and cost you less than $5. First and foremost, I should tell you that, um, um, I've forgotten something. Oh, God damn it. The size of this, the good shape, is a size that is very familiar to a European because it's the A4 uh, format. But bollocks that. I'm going to show you my wheel. Ah, here we have it. Mm, the mighty mighty MSX. So what I need you to do is think of this way. Can you see it? This shape here, this is EVA foam, and I glued something on top of it. And the wonderful thing is, it's so dead easy. First, you attach it with a um, double-sided tape, and it's it's there, pretty easy. rock stable, which is what we need. And then you can just take your standard cli uh, knife or your uh, um, chainsaw or what have you and then cut it to the exact size you want because um, it depends on the size of you and uh, what sort of knee pads you're using and what have you. I have to admit that <laughs> the MSX, that's <laughs> pretty easy to make these uh, thingies on. And um, um, so I used this material in here and I cut more of this one, but I have more or less the structure that you pay $90 for in, in China made by these materials. I should tell you, when you glue this, when you glue EVA foam together, it's very strong. It's stronger than the structure itself. So, um, the dimensions of this, I have it right here. Let's get poetic about it. I think you need a side pack. I think you need a side pack.
side pedal too And I'm happy to side pad I'm gonna tell you what to do Oh yeah, so the side pad So you need this type of foam Which is what you're sleeping on Or do yoga on a yoga mat or something And then the yoga block And when you glue it or use double sided tape It's very stable But here comes the fun part my queer friends and cross dressers and uh, cosplayers and what have you, in order never to learn how to use a sewing machine, they use EVA foam and a heating gun, a heat gun, and they can more or less shape the bloody thing into what the hell they want. So, cutting this with a Stanley knife is dead easy, and here are the dimensions you probably need. I'm getting nerdy, this is a little funny. I hope you can see it. So you see, it's 20 centimeters and 28 centimeters. That is the size of this piece of paper, which is about half the size of your penis. This is the A4 piece of paper, right? Now you have uh, the structure down here. I refer to the thing in the middle as the tunnel, the leg tunnel. And you have the, should we call it the tower, the rear tower, and you have the tower, the front tower. And the elegant design here is because you need to get, if you're too attached to the wheel and you crash and it's still, um, and, it's not, and, and it's not falling off, so to say, you have the slalom ski problem. Back in the days, uh, in the early days of, of downhill skiing, I mean, um, the skis would not fall off. They would just sit on you and break your bloody knee. Uh, but they had, the engineers had a clever solution to that um, that we now take for granted. But these are the dimensions. So you have uh, 28 centimeters and 20 centimeters. And you have this here is three or four centimeters uh, in height, and this is uh, five or six. Right. A lot of people choose to make the side pad in one piece and chop out uh, uh, the yoga block in one piece. You don't have to do that because I'm telling you, when you glue this thing together, it's very strong. So, here we have a caricature of the uh, um, side pad or, and uh, you just knife it until you get the size you want. Or you copy this. All right, but I prefer to use some of this as padding. So my solution is actually um, uh, a three-piece. Uh, and I think what is uh, pretty um, interesting is that I have the yoga mat here, I have the yoga block here, another yoga block here. All right. Yoga block, yoga block, yoga mat. And then I'm using this material. This is also EVA foam. And it's the type of thing you'd use to protect yourself if you walk on a concrete fall too much. This is soft and this will prevent you from foot fatigue. The difference, foot fatigue, that was an interesting word for anybody who's into uh, electric unicycling, right? So, you can shape this with a heat gun and glue. And I urge you to find some of the cosplayers because they will tell you how to uh, use the Stanley cut and knife correctly so that you get a nice clean cut. And the rubber here will gradually eat up uh, your knife. So you have to uh, change the blades uh, ever so often. So um, um, all in all, I'm telling you, the side pad that I'm a little obsessed with. It is better riding. It's better acceleration. It's better deceleration and the turning is also easier. I think it's safer. But New York City Tarzan, you know, the guy who can drive as fast as the others backwards, right? Um, right, correctly said, if you construct this in a way so that you can't get out of it in case of a crash. That's not safe. 
Now, you might need a little room for uh, your knee pad or your safety gear. And before you get to work with this, you should, of course, safety first. We all know that. So you, you see to that uh, you don't hurt your brains or whatever's left of it or your eyes or something. So um, you uh, take great caution. Now, I forgot my Stanley knife, but uh, it's good fun to work with. It's cheap and you can make the structure a little too big and then it's chop a wee piece of it until you get the size you want. This is dimension that is assuming that one size fits all, but we all know that Americans are fat and lazy and they have bigger legs than they should have. Um, that was sarcasm, my friend. Sarcasm. You want me to spell it? No, you don't. Okay, so have a closer look at this. <clears throat> Here we have. <clears throat> I fucking love this wheel. But I'm going to change the suspension wheel because I believe it's safer. What I find fascinating because engineers, I admire engineers. I love people with technical skills. I don't have it myself. But Marty, you're a hero. You're a fucking hero, I'm telling you. So, people with technical skills who helps other people out, I like that a lot. Thank you to all of you, I really mean that. So, this, uh, if you think it's too big, you just uh, take your knife and, and adjust it until you get exactly the size you want. But it's surprisingly strong, the double-sided tape. But this structure, <laughs> it's like a suitcase. A real challenge would be side pads for my MCM5 because that's not a suitcase design. It's rounded. But I'm telling you, you can use your heating gun. I have to say that this floor material, when you use your heating gun, the fumes coming out of it is not good for your brains so if you have one. But um, um, I feel, I don't care about feelings. I'm a psychologist. I really believe that this structure should be built into the wheel, and indeed it is. In the King Song S18, and not in the Inmotion V11 that I just paid for. Chooch told us, I need pads on this in order to lean into something when I accelerate, right? You lean into this, and things happen. And when you decelerate, you lean into this structure. It's very, it's, 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 it's very strong. And it also has a certain uh, soft quality to it. Uh, so, and, 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 and this uh, yoga mat, it's, this is ideal. A three-piece solution for this. But just do your own experiment because the material is, is dirt cheap. And don't do like the Russians do. I mean, you, you pay for faux leather, which is a dirty word for plastic. And you wait forever for an overpriced um, uh, object that you cannot... Um, accommodate to your needs because maybe you have fat legs don't ever say that to your wife maybe you have fat legs or maybe you don't um, maybe you have this uh, knee protecting thingy uh, here maybe you don't so the wonderful thing here is that you can use your knife and uh, adapt to how you want it and um, I think you should give it a try because this is going to cost you half an hour of work and good fun and um, and if you don't like it throw it out <laughs> it's that easy or give it to a friend um, uh, now in motion v11 the suspension wheel look at this you have your shoe here and this is the kooji pad that helps you jump right you're not kicked off the wheel because of this and you're not kicked off the wheel in that direction because of this wall. So it all serves a pers purpose. And that is, in my opinion, built into the King Song S18, right? And um, our wonderful Chinese friend from New York, and I believe you pronounce his name Sean? Greetings and kudos to you, my friend. You do great work. Thanks, thanks a lot, man. You're really huge inspiration. What Sean is telling us is that 
the King Song S18 is a great wheel, but it's built into the structure that there's a sort of built-in side pad that keeps your foot in position. But it's not, it's one size fits all, and that's a problem. So, in motion took the other path, <laughs> there's no side, there's no thing fixating you to the pedal, which is also a problem. So there's a solution to that also. You put spikes into the pedal and you're so much attached to the pedal that you, that it's dangerous. Uh, they have a thing in that for that. They have a concept in Norway called brotter, which means you put spikes on your shoes in order that, uh, not to uh, have problem with the ice and the snow. But the thing is you want to be attached to the wheel when you're jumping and when you're riding on it. And you want to be able to get off a <laughs> The second you fall. And I think if you construct the side pads so that I call this the tunnel and this I call <laughs> the towers so that the towers are not too big and uh, that you have a soft cushion and this is also protecting the wheel. I, I tend to believe that in motion should have built that thing into the V11. They did not. Building side pads on that one is going to be bloody complicated. But Chuch said it's not possible for him to ride that wheel. He's a bit of a speed freak. He wants to lean into something like this to give the acceleration. And I, I, I can really understand that. So the King Song had this, uh, this thing here where the, 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 the shoe, I don't have a shoe somewhere. Hey, dog, could you fetch my shoe? Hello, my shoe. Yeah, come on. Hello, hello. You always fetch my shoe, you little rat. Um, yeah, so um, I have become a bit of a um, an enthusiast when it comes to um, side pads. So hang on a wee bit. Mm. So, that's what I'm talking about. The shoe. So, oh, there's a bee inside of it. Get out. <laughs> well, oh, there's a long one. So, you don't necessarily need this one. And you don't necessarily need this one. This structure is actually enough just to test it out with your yoga block and double sided tape. Uh, I put this floor thingy uh, on top of it because I think it looks nice and but it's not it, you don't need that so you need to invest in one yoga block and double-sided tape in order to test this but I strongly believe that the King Sung S18 had uh, the foot here so when you jump you don't fall off and that's what's built into the King Sung S18 and not the InMotion V11 and this is dead easy to do on a Gotway MSX because this has this flat surface. Other wheels, not so much, right? Because they're curved. But this, if your yoga uh, material uh, is thin enough, you take your heat gun and you can actually shape it quite a lot in order to glue it onto a structure that is not flat but have a certain structure to it. Furthermore, your heat gun and EVA foam, you can shape this uh, in order to make um, various kind of protective structures instead of 3D printing something hard. So, uh, oh, I ramble and I urge on. I, I really believe that um, um, the side pad is not just about side pads. It's about you want your foot to stay in place until you fall. <laughs> and when you fall, you want your foot to be free of the wheel. But um, this uh, yoga mat material, I think, um, is good for many things, not only yoga. But if you go to the cosplayers and see what they use EVA foam for, and uh, research a wee, a little more in what this material is actually used for. Um, that's 
pretty damn interesting. So uh, um, this the structure here is not um, uh, it's too slippery. This you should never buy this. You should buy the other shape. Um, but this is too slippery, and I think the tunnel here is uh, uh, not. I think the walls here should be higher. But then again, I mean, it doesn't really matter. If you use the EVA uh, shape, you can just go and experiment. But I think if you start with this, the better design, which is more or less part of uh, the Sherman, um, from what I've seen. Um, and I mean, if you have such a powerful wheel, look what's happening here. We're having sex. My microphone and the bee. I mean, I like sex. There's other things in life than sex. There's, um, uh, you have, there's, um, there's, uh, well. I think you need a side pad. I think you need a side pad too. I think you need a side pad. I have told you just what to do. Have fun and don't do anything I would do. Cheers.